Gary, with just over a week to go until our first practice match against the Northern Blues, we thought we'd take the opportunity to catch up with you and see how the pre-season has panned out from your point of view so far. Obviously, we've had the logistical challenge of training out at Salesian College in Chadson, but the reports coming out from out there have been quite positive overall. Mm. You're right, Sammy. Obviously, we've been pretty lucky to get Salesian College, as you mentioned. Uh, here, the ground's going really, really well. So. In an ideal world, yes, we would like to be back here, but we know it's going to be for long-term benefits. So really, the boys have bought in, which is a big thing, because some of them do have to travel from the other side of the Westgate Bridge and fight the Monash freeway traffic and all the other things that come with, obviously, getting through the city on a late-ish afternoon, three times a week. But we've really enjoyed it. The first class attention that we've got from the college we're really appreciative of that and Mondays and Wednesdays we're on the Bosco Street campus and then on Fridays we're actually on the Mannix uh, campus so all in all we're trying to combine as really well as we can in relation to the program uh, we've got certainly able to use the ground up and down the middle which is always a positive and we've got goalposts up so yeah all in all I think from the facility wise it's been really good playing wise there's just been a really good vibe at the club ever since we got back on the 12th of November now obviously pre-Christmas there's a lot of guys who do tend to come and go because of players training and being part of the squad initially and then having to make decisions and certainly by the time we got to Christmas we narrowed the squad right down. We only had an extra nine come back after the Christmas break and we were able to complete that as you put on the mighty Port Melbourne Football Club website uh, last week that we've put our list together including 45 plus a rookie listed player in Xavier Fry and then the six boys on the academy. So all in all that gives the players a, a nice little step into what the next phase of training is. We had our camp down at New Haven on Saturday and that went really well where we talk about systems, we talk about structures, we talk about what the line coaches want. I do an overview. We had an education session put on by AFL Victoria. Russell Robinson did a great job and we had our physio Kieran Tui who actually just did a I guess a, a basic summary of protocols for physiotherapy stuff. We then had an intra club 4.15s and we had most guys available, some sat out for a variety of reasons. We don't tend to touch wood have too many in the physio room at the minute which is always a good positive thing and we announced our co-captains in Toss and uh, obviously Geordie which you had filming so hopefully I look my best on uh, the uh, announcement and um, we're obviously going to be looking forward to getting this week out of the way and then we've got our first bracket match on the 28th of Feb. Uh, the recruits we've brought in um, each offer a, a different blend of AFL slash VFL experience, um, premierships at both levels, captaincies. Um, yep. Overall have you been pleased with the way that they've all fitted into the program so far? Yeah I have and look it's difficult at this level to get your full squad able to be together at one time and we do do a lot of selective recruiting and some of the recruits that were able to nail didn't really make their I guess decisions known until very late prior to Christmas but the news of getting Ben Jolly and of course Jared Blair virtually I think it was the Friday before uh, Christmas was really encouraging. Tommy Goodwin was locked away pretty early on but even guys like Dion Johnston and Matt Signorello and those sorts of guys, they all probably were a little bit later. Even Jake Gasper didn't really come until the last session on uh, December 19. So they've been really good. They've bought into everything thus far. Certainly been able to view it overall more so now because since Jan 14, we've virtually had most guys available. Some have been away with little time offs for family reasons. We had Paddy Vespremi and Dylan Van Oonen both become, yeah. in Dylan's case, second time around for him and uh, Paddy Vespremi a first time father. So all in all, that's part of them being able to make sure they're professional about what they do with uh, their lives off field, which we've been very supportive of, um, I guess, our family club being able to get bigger. And uh, all in all, I couldn't have uh, faulted what those new players have been able to bring to the table. And we do now have a run of four practice matches uh, fast approaching. What are going to be some of the, the keys that you'll be looking out for and possibly hope to achieve over that next month leading into the season? Yeah, trying to look at what we've got available with our squad in the first two games. 
and because of the heat, I think long term, and you've become a very good weather man. You might be <laughs> rivalling Jane Bunn for her uh, current job. So we think it could be something like 34 next Thursday week. So we'll probably go with 30 players, and then the next week we obviously got to go to Ballarat. Normally, it's a little bit coolish up there, but it could be quite warm, Sam. You haven't looked that far ahead <laughs> with the, the long forecast for weather-wise. So we'll probably aim again another 30. There'll be different guys that'll play the first one. Then there'll be different guys playing second. We'll try and nail the side a little bit closer in practice match three, and then certainly the fourth against North Melbourne. We'd like to have pretty much what we feel would be available for round one against Willie. So we'll look at guys that have had good pre-seasons. They'll get an opportunity. And once we open that door of opportunity, then they've got to basically do all they can to stay on the side, put pressure on the match committee and hopefully have a very, very tough job in selecting round one. But there are some guys that are coming through off-season programs. You know, Waddell's been a bit wounded. Um, Dylan Conway, Izzy Conway. Uh, who else is on the wounded list at the minute? Um, Khan Eratuku. Nothing real major, but we're just going to have to look after those guys and hopefully, yeah, the sooner the better for everybody because they're really, really good players. Mm. Well, Gary, thanks for the chat today. No doubt there'll be plenty more airtime coming up for both of us as we oh, edge closer to the start of the look season. Look forward to it, Sammy. <laughs> Best of luck with the practice matches coming up. Good on you. And should we say a special hello to, you know, Borough Classifieds crew and all those fantastic supporters out there. They do send you a lot of wonderful fan mail, so compliments of the season to everyone out there. We'll catch up with them soon. We will. <laughs>